what's going on guys Adi here and today in this video I'll be showing you what's on my Android. So without any further wasting time let's straight into my Android setup. So it is my latest Android setup it's a 32 gig white color Google Nexus 5. On my phone I am running a custom ROM called Liquid Smooth and it is based on Android Lollipop 5.0.2. If I go to setting then you can see I am using the Google Experience Launcher that basically adds a Google Now page to your home screen so it is pretty easy to look anything up really online. And with all new Lollipop animation, this launcher is just awesome. I only have a single home screen because I like a simple setup. So at the top of my home screen, I have a single widget called Dash Clock widget, which not only shows you the date, time, and the weather information, but also displays the notification you have or the things you set up to display on your home screen. You can do that from the settings of the app. And there are tons of extensions you can get from the Play Store to match all your needs. Then I have a folder called Instagram. Here I keep all my photo editing and Instagram related applications. I have Lido and Biscocam for photo editing. Then I have the Instagram application. And I use Square Instapic to upload full size pictures to my Instagram. The last application is the Fonto and I use this application to add text to my pictures. And friends this is my Instagram profile and if you want to follow me on Instagram or any other social networks then you will find the links to my social networks in the description box. The next application is called ES File Explorer and it is by far the best Android file manager application you can get for Android. Then I have YouTube Create Studio and guys this is a must have application for any YouTube content creator because you can view your statistic and reply to your comments directly from the application itself. Then I have an application called Dubs Mass. It is a new social networking type application. You can add your video to the popular dialogues and share it with other social networks. Then I have my Google folders. The next application is called Crickbooch as I am a huge fan of cricket and this application is the best cricketing application you can get for Android. You can view live score commentary on this application. Then I have Hike. Hike is an instant messaging application like WhatsApp and now Hike also supports voice calling. Then I have Google Play Store. On my dock, I have Call, Messenger, WhatsApp, Google Chrome. And Google Chrome is my favorite and default browser. Now let's go to the app door. Guys, I can't go through every single application because it will take long time, but I will give you a proper knowledge the application which I have. First application is called Audio Manager, but it is not an Audio Manager, it's called Hide It Pro in the Play Store. Using this application, you can hide your, your private pictures and data. Then all my Google applications are available. Then I have eBay. Facebook and FKU because I am using Franco kernel. Then I have the gallery. Now go to my second page of my app drawer. I have hike. As I mentioned, hike is instant messenger. Then I have then I have IMDV. It is the best application for movies lover because it will keep you up to date with the release date of the movies and which movies are currently playing on theater. Then I have Instagram. Then I have Facebook Messenger. Next I have MX Player. And guys MX Player is the best video player for Android. It basically can play any type of video format out there.
on my next page I have cleaner to clean up my RAM and other junk files. Then I use titanium backup to do backup of my applications and data. I use official Twitter application because I think it is a really good application so I don't use any third party Twitter application. Then I have voice changer with effects. And guys, I have already done the review of this application on my channel, so check it out. The link will be in the description. Then I have Viscocam, WhatsApp, and YouTube. I don't have any Android games because I play game mostly on my tablet, so I don't install them on my phone. So that's basically is my Android setup for this month. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting the like button. And also, if you have any question, then feel free to leave that in the comment section. And you can ask me about the application also in the comment section. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Have a good day.